Hello, this is Mr. Halim from Harman Science Academy in West Houston. I'm going to do an osmosis lab for you today, which is a traditional AP lab. What I will do is I will use potato cubes. Um, I will put them in different, in different super solutions, starting by zero molar, which is distilled water, to up to one molar, increasing by 0.2 molars. I will have six different solutions. I will have them in six different tube test tubes already labeled with the zero molar to one molar. So I will put three potato cube in each tube and leave them overnight in in the super solutions and then see the difference in in their mass. I will calculate the percent change in mass. So to do this First, I will mass the test tube. Uh, I will mass the polyurethane cubes before I put them in their solutions. I will not talk about too much. I will not talk too much about materials and procedures. So you can find them in my website. I'll get my wooden dishes. Put on the scale. Zero it. And mass the potato cubes. I will record that value as initial mass, which is 7.57. In grams, and I will put it in the starting solution, which is zero molars sucrose, which is just the water actually. I will put the potato cubes in the test tube. water. I will measure 25 milliliters of distilled water or 20 milliliters of distilled water. And seal the test tube with The stopper. And you're done. The important part of this experiment, having all the materials ready. Put them in a test tube, leave them overnight, come back and mess them record their final mass values and then calculate the percent change in mass put it in a graph versus concentration that way you can see the correlation between um, concentration and osmosis rate so we're done for today I will set it aside come back tomorrow and record it Again, when I'm as I'm massing them, and then I will do the calculations in a separate video. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Halim from Harmony Science Academy, West Houston. I'm going to mass the potato cubes that I have left them overnight yesterday. So I will mass them today. Record their masses as their final mass and then calculate the percent change in mass for my osmosis lab with potato cubes. Now I start 
empty the test tubes. This is zero molars, which is distilled water. These pretty cubes can give me some hard times because they just fit in the test tube. They might not come out after I empty the test tubes. So I will just force them some. And the last one is one molars. The wing dish for this one. While I'm emptying this, I zero the scale. I emptied it. Try the potato cubes. I mean, I'm not trying it, I'm just getting the excess water on them using a tissue, rolling them a couple of times on the tissue, don't letting them on tissues so they preventing they don't drain, drain there water in it's 4.72 three yes 4.73 now we're done with the experiment after I record my data I will calculate the percent change in mass using Excel sheet and then I will put the, my variables which is um, different concentration and the percent change in mass and the potato cubes. I will put them in my graph try to see the correlation between changing concentrations and percent change in mass. Thank you very much for watching Harmony Public Schools.